You can't have a Zippo lighter without a cool case, so let's get started. We start by covering the lighter with plastic wrap and then taking this small piece of leather, dampen it, and get ready for the wet molding. For those unfamiliar with wet molding, it goes something like this. Dampen your leather and then just lay it across whatever you want to mold around. In this case, our lighter. Then just start working the edges. Be careful not to leave any fingernail marks as they will be very difficult to get out on your finished project. There we go. The wet molding is complete. Now we just let it dry. Our wet molded piece dried overnight, so I'm going to take it and attach it to this other scrap piece of leather simply by knocking in the stitch line around the molded part. It's going to be very simple. You can see how I did the border stitch line, and I also put in a stitch line here so that I'll be able to attach the belt loop. I'm going to set the specific distance on this once I get the entire thing put together, but it's going to fold over something like that. Here you can see the two pieces stitched together. There's the belt loop attached on the back. And again on the front, I've already attached a snap on the bottom section of the case. We've trimmed everything up and now it's time to work on the top flap. Basically what I'm going to do is flip this over here, figure out where I want my top snap to go, and then we'll trim everything down. I've lined up and attached my snap, as you can see, and I've roughed in some pencil marks here where I'm going to trim out the flap completely. Ought to turn out okay. So here's our first test as we near the finished product. Everything's coming along nicely. The lighter fits inside of here perfectly. Go ahead and close that up. But I also want to add a small hole here in the bottom, right here, to make it easier to push the lighter out. Our design continues to near completion. You can see the hole I put there makes it much easier to get the lighter out of the case. Everything looks real nice. It's coming together very well. Put the lighter back in there. Close it up. We're finally at the point where we can get this thing under dye. I went with the basic black for this lighter case. I think it looks really good. See the back here. Take a look at the front. I had a variety of different snaps, but that's the basic one that I went with. Let's finish the edges and get this thing waxed. So here's our finished product. As you can see, all the edges are slicked. Everything's finished up. I've got a coat of Atom Wax on it. There's the back. Belt loop fits any standard belt, so that's good. And again, I went with the basic snap on that. You could use any variety of decorative snaps if you wanted to. Again, the lighter comes out very easily. Good fit and finish. I like the way this project turned out, especially since it started with no pattern and just a couple pieces of scrap leather. So there you go, a very simple Zippo lighter case, very formal. Again, you could make accents on it all you wanted, but this design was set up so that there was no special tools required or special snaps or clips or anything like that. I hope this gave you some ideas, and if it did, well, you know what to do. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.